though some prefer to pair their entrees with a side of rice, if you want an even more slurpable, savory dining experience, you can ask for chow mein instead. Panda Express makes its chow mein with egg-free wheat noodles. The noodles are stir-fried in soybean oil, along with cabbage and celery, which give each bite a bit of crisp, tender crunch. The sauce is made up of sugar, soy sauce, and spices, plus other proprietary ingredients not listed online. The name chow mein can be translated from Chinese to mean stir-fried noodles, and the chain's rendition pretty much hits the nail on the head. The chow mein at Panda Express is meatless, but it's just as tasty with some orange chicken on top or some broccoli beef tangled up in the noodles as well. Panda Express chow mein features soft noodles stir-fried with cabbage, onion, and celery, in a slightly sweet and salty soy base sauce. The cabbage has a slightly sweet flavor and is kept crisp tender, as is the celery, so you get a bit of crunch with each bite of soft, slippery noodle. Customers online seem to love the Panda Express Express chow mein. One fan on Twitter said, The way that I crave Panda Express chow mein and orange chicken is borderline sinful. And another chow mein fan wrote, I can't trust people that get fried rice from Panda Express over chow mein. But if you're not a fan of cabbage, it might not be the dish for you. Several people on Twitter and on Reddit noted that there is a lot of cabbage in Panda Express chow mein, with one Redditor even saying, It tastes like I'm eating cabbage with a side of chow mein. Others pointed out that the veggies help to balance out the refined carbs in the dish, making it a bit healthier. Chow mein, after all, features wheat noodles that are boiled, sautéed in oil, and then stirred up with a sweet and salty sauce. The good news is that Panda Express chow mein offers up lots of the fuel you'll need to power your body each day. A 9.4-ounce serving has 6 grams of fiber, 13 grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, and 80 grams of carbohydrates. In moderation, that's a perfectly reasonable food to enjoy. Something to watch out for, however, is the amount of sodium. Each 9.4-ounce portion of chow mein contains 860 milligrams of sodium, which is more than a third of the 2,300 milligrams daily sodium limit recommended by the Dietary Guidelines for Americans. The dish also has 3.5 grams of saturated fat, which is something to look out for if your doctor has told you to limit these in your diet. It also contains 9 grams of sugar, which not everyone wants to include in their diet every day. There are a few different ways to order Panda Express chow mein, but but there's one thing you should note. According to employees of the chain on Reddit, you can't customize the noodles because they're cooked with all of the vegetables and sauce in a big batch. That means for you cabbage haters out there, you won't be able to get the noodles without them. Another great thing about Panda Express's chow mein, besides its relative healthiness and taste, is that it isn't too expensive, but the price can fluctuate depending on how you order it and where you live. According to Panda Express's online ordering system, you can order a Panda Express bowl with one entree over a bed of chow mein for around $7 to $8 depending on where you live. A two-item combo plate with chow mein as the side costs around $8 to $9, while a three-item combo plate with chow mein costs around $10 to $11. A family meal, which comes with three entrees, can be paired with two sides of chow mein for around $29 total. There's also a cub meal option for kids, which comes with a small side portion of chow mein for around $6 to $7. A medium portion costs around $3 to $4, while a large portion is around $4 to $5, depending on where you live. That makes Panda Express's chow mein an economical choice when you've got a noodle craving that can't be satisfied at home. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about Panda Express are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.